The Poker Go Cup is now in full swing. The debut of poker's newest high roller series has resulted in some of poker's biggest names taking down titles. That storyline could certainly continue today, but a couple wild cards in the mix could make a run at the Cup. Welcome back to Las Vegas. Welcome back to the Poker Go studio here at the break desk. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks and Brent Foxen and I'm sure of it are two winners. The stars are out for this one. Of course they are, Jeff. Uh, are you surprised that they won? You remember who picked them on their futures oh team Back for the entire you. series? It was this guy, Jeff. I mean, come on, never a doubt. It is pretty sick, and it is pretty upsetting to me that this man has correctly forecasted the first two winners of the Poker Go Cup. Let's take a look at the event number two results. It is Ali Amshurovich on top. He wins it for $183,000. Jason Kuhn finishing in second. Dylan Lindy out in third. Mo Raheem, Frank Finara, Matta Simbolis round out our final table. And Brent, quite the spin up for one Jason Kuhn. Expect the unexpected yeah. as far as all these final tables are concerned throughout the series, Jeff. I mean, we saw it in event number one. Again, now with Jason Kuhn comes in with three big blinds and parlays that into a second place finish. I, I mean, what today? What are we going to see today? Do you think we'll see Kuhn for the rest of this Poker Go Cup? Seemed a little tired, a little burnt out. I wonder if he's going to go fire, fire, fire. All he needed was a little bit of rest, maybe some bone broth and a protein <laughs> bar. I mean, Kuhn's going to be all right. He's ferocious. He's one of the best. He wants it bad. He's coming back. Ali wins event number two. No surprise. He is on top of those Poker Go Cup standings, and those standings look like this. So, no surprise, our two winners, one and two, in the form of Amshurovich and Foxen, Sean Perry, Jason Kuhn, Sir. G. Rushak round out our top five. And Brent, a couple guys who are right outside the top five who could really make a run. Yeah, well, two names have my attention, one of which is Dylan Lindy. He's mm. in sixth, making his back-to-back -back final table debut here again today. And uh, how about Sammy Biscuits? Yeah. Sam Saverell down there in ninth place. However, Jeff, he's three for three with caches. Today, he's going to go for that first victory. In my mind, he is the favorite to take home wow. the cup. The only player to cash in all three events. That is a perfect transition to this leaderboard for event number three, the final table. This leaderboard is presented by Zenny, and it is Sam Saverell with a sizable chip lead. He's at 2.4 million. Brent, Steve Zollenthal is back. The eagle, he's landed, he's returned. Maybe he thinks that it's an eagle trophy for this series. <laughs> we'll have to tell him it's a cup. Sergi Rushak, his second final table of the series. Dylan Lindy in fourth. You set it back-to-back -back final tables for him. Kerry Katz, Chris Brewer, and Bill Klein are our short stacks. Dylan Lindy, third place yesterday, the final table today. Brent, does he have a real shot at this? Of course he does. You know, today, I think he needs to win it. Yeah. in order to really be in contention. You take a look at his resume, uh, not really known for playing the 25K price point, the sure. 50K, and of course, 100K buy-in. I think he needs to win today, has a little sweetener on top with that 50K bonus mm. money. That might get him in the ring for the remainder of the series. And 170K is uh, pretty nice for the bankroll, I would say. All right, we introduce a new price point today for the Poker Go Cup. It is event number four, the $15,000 buy-in. Let's set some Super Draft lineup, shall we? Yeah, Does that sound please. good to you? Yeah, I would love to. All right, Super Draft, the official fantasy partner of Poker Go, Mr. Hanks, lead us off. Give me Chitty Chitty Bang Bang in my champion spot. He's due, he's poised, he plays everything oh so well. And let's take a look at the rest of Team Chalk. I got Fox in <laughs> because of course I do. I've got David Peters because he just won the US Poker Open. I got Sammy Biscuits, he's gonna win the event today, hop in the 15K, Final table, this sucker, and I can't leave a fox off the list when I've already got a fox in. So give me Elio, put him in. I mean, you said it, Team Shock. You really went out on a limb there, huh? Of course. Uh, I've got Frank Finaro as my champ with a sweet little multiplier, throwing Jared Jaffe in the mix. Ali Amshurovich, of course, Nick Schulman. Hopefully, he shows up. And Brent, I have Daniel Negreanu. Let me, let me. Dan yeah, yeah. Let me just yeah, tell please. you something, please. Part of daily fantasy sports, mm. daily fantasy poker, is doing your research. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I did mine right. clearly because all you my just, players are going to be in the, the best event. players in poker. Right. Right. What you didn't do was the research. Why do I know that? Well, Sam Sober, or excuse me, Ali Amshurovich. Yeah. He's not playing today. He bagged and tagged at another venue. He's not in the event today, Jeff. The great thing about Super Draft, mm. though, Brent. 
is I can always adjust my lineups. And I'm going to keep noted. Daniel Negreanu in there. And Negreanu has suffered cooler after cooler. He's lost coin flip after coin flip. What's going through his mind right now? I have. I don't want to know what's going <laughs> right. through his mind right now. Imagine if something like this happened to a uh, a normal fella yeah. such as yourself. Well. Maybe a bad example. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, think about it. The variance, the wins, the losses. You make these runs. Bad beat, cooler. This. Then he hits social media. And he unleashes his thoughts and fury there. I, I, you know, the guy's in a bad spot. But something tells me, you know, Danny, he's going to be all right. Perhaps it turns around today. That was good with the Ali thing, by the way. Yeah. You were waiting for that one. Oh, huh? been sitting on it all morning. All right, almost 170K up top. Seven players remain in the hunt for event number three of the Poker Go Cup. Your final table coverage starts right now. Alex Foxen, Aliam Shurovich, two of Poker's Elite already on the series winners list. Who will join them today? This is the Poker Go Cup, coming to you from the Poker Go studio in Las Vegas, Nevada. Come join us for the final table of event number three. It's a $10,000 buy-in, no limit hold'em tournament. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks. And Brent, this one has drawn the best of the best and a few wild cards in the mix to spice things up. Gotta love Zalatel there. Nice red shoes. Indeed. What's got my eye? Jeff Sam Savarel, three for three with cash mm. as his first final table. Dylan Lindy, back-to-back -back final tables. Tournament format presented by PokerCoaching.com. It is the 10K buy-in, 40-minute level starting stack. 125K and Savarol is up to 2.4 million in chips. There is a look at Shades, the chip leader, Steve Zolotow in second. Sergi Rushak in third in his second final table of the series. Dylan Lindy, Kerry Katz, Chris Brewer, and Bill Klein round out our final table. And Brent Savarol has that major series win at the Poker Masters, also has a championship win at the British Poker Open, one of the best in the game. Absolutely, and what do we got? More like Sammy Wonder today and not <laughs> Sammy Biscuits. Well, look at what they're playing for. Top seven guaranteed $26,500, about a 5K pay jump from seven to six up top. Almost $170,000. Daniel Negreanu out in eight. Late last night for the Min Cash. We're all here because of him. That's a mean joke. He's got a baby. <laughs> huh? Uh, you're here because of him. Yeah, okay, maybe I'm not you. Yeah, good point. <laughs> Blinds 25K, 50K hey, with a 50K well, big blind ante. The chips are going to be flying, yeah. and so are the conversations. Started off early, Steve Zalatow full of history and stories, and a beautiful mustache. Indeed. That's 100? Yep. Okay. Brewer started the hand with just less than 10 bigs. Oh, the full 70. Thanks. And this is a pretty wild, interesting open off of such a short stack. I think players are going to give him a lot of credit for having a big hand. Something like that. I hope so. <laughs> Lindy defends with the 7 4 clubs and flops top two pair. A gin. For Lindy, now he's hoping he's up against two kings. Instead, it's the king nine offsuit. Brewer bets the minimum. Exactly what he would do if he had two kings, Jeff. See, stack sizes to start the hand on top of your screen. Current stacks, bottom left corner. Check raise. 125. Quick fold by Brewer. <laughs> okay, it's your coach. <laughs> Dylan Lindy takes down the first pot of the day. Back to back, the <laughs> final table. This is wrong. Security. Uh, security. You, should be a you have your own personal troll. There should be a lot to wear noise canceling headphones at the final In table. Event yeah, number two, so. taking a look at our chip denominations <laughs> presented by Nerd Focus. I, 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 I think, I, I think, I think I'd buy fall if I chips played weighted more than anyone else in this room, though. <laughs> Purple chips 25. <laughs> You've got to be immune by now, right? I'm the number one weighted. Ace king for Savaro. 
aces for Bill Klein. Oh boy, what a dream. Less than 10 bigs, Klein six to be exact. I'm all in. It all goes into the Three middle. Five. Oh, Brewer boy. has nines behind. Oh dear. Also with about six bigs. And he will put the chips in. Oh, it's on me. Yep. <laughs> I, I What's Gary? I haven't looked yet. Right, no. I folded mentally. It's oh, I was waiting for Zola to fold. I raised mentally, but physically I'm folding. <laughs> Three oh five. You have fifty line. Yeah. I uh, can't imagine Savile's <laughs> gonna get off of it, but he knows he's up against at least one premium here. Sort of hates his spot. Oh, thank you so much. Just gotta hope he's up against two pairs. That's how good he is, folks. I mean, how many of us would already have the money in the middle? We'd be on the turn by now. Well, I can't show you that you got money behind. Show I, yeah, I almost show him me. over. Yeah. No, I'm not sure. Yeah, show me too. <laughs> See, I almost. <laughs> Rick Brewer, <laughs> not all in. I almost thought we were all in. I didn't in. win this pot, man. I just punted the false hand. I dissolved this one after that. Gary needed me to win this one. I had the king nine off that false hand. I, uh, I need this guy sporting the butt. I don't think that's one small. I just got to get the villain. <laughs> guy flopped a seven. We're all rooting for you. Guy flopped a two. I think he had three sixes. <laughs> I don't know what he had, man. Oh, I supposed to have aces now? All right, put the swap out. <laughs> That's what we'll do. It goes queen jack five. Uh, pretty That's ideal for the ace king. Hope for Got a fighting chance. There's that 15K, and here we go. Klein and Brewer are the ones who are at risk. Seems like pretty ridiculous. Wow. Sabro could score the yeah, double nine. KO with a 10 ball. It's a good spot. There's a fucking. That prepay is dead. <laughs> yeah, man, I got down some nines. Can you get off the table? <laughs> what what hey, is Peter. this? <laughs> it's your coach. I literally coached you so well this Guess morning. who's back? Yeah, man. Like two hands. That's I Sean Perry, by the way. With <laughs> the turn is a king. <laughs> All right. Sovereign now needs the king for that double KO. Oh, no. Ten would chop it up I with Klein. On a king deal. Yeah, I got dealt nines with the six. Favorite card. Yeah, good game, six. Good game. Good game, Chris. <laughs> Bill Klein finds the effective triple up. <laughs> trolling. Okay. Klein will do it for good. Chris Brewer. All of a sudden, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, back in business with. Yeah, man, I got dealt nines with million six million chips. Boy, 20 oh. bigs. Jesus Christ. You bust the tournament, you get needled by it. Sean Perry. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'd say, Beautiful combination. I'd say yes. Really? Unless you, unless you know who another. We should work that into the structure. Over, the first one from. eliminated from the final table has to be escorted off by Sean <laughs> Perry. <laughs> that was a nice sub. How'd I mean, do I don't it? think we need to work it in anything. Oh, He's yeah, just sure, always uh, there. Good point. <laughs> I knew I've been practicing the first three hands. That was one of them. <laughs> that was a good time for aces. Yeah. With action. Since we are down that to six, <laughs> yeah. our players' time really banks will be replenished. Okay. The <laughs> was a hell of a second hand. I'm just making well, room get for six the cards, more. Okay. This is not a bet. There's tournament director Paul Campbell. Special delivery. 30 second time banks. Try to keep you guys scared. You know, 15 over there. <laughs> He's doing clubs for carry cats. Lays it down. <laughs> he was hoping you would fold. That, that was pretty ambitious. Bill already. Klein entered the day as the short stack, but as we've seen Brent over the last two days, that doesn't mean anything. Just keeps happening. Event one, ridiculous comeback from Sean Perry. Event two, Jason Kuhn parlays. Three bigs to a second place finish, and now Klein, all of a sudden, third and chips. 115. Both of our second place finishers at one point had around two or three big blinds. 
at one point in the tournament. Ace-10 of diamonds for Sergi Rushak out of Spain. Finished in third place in event number one for about 86K. Most of it here. Those are yours. Oh. 725. And that gets through for the Ibex. More than $6 million well heist. In, in career live tournament earnings. He's made his mark inside the Poker Go studio, his second final table of the series. As we take a look at the cup and our tournament summary, 53 entries in this one, a prize pool of more than 500K. Speaking of, Sean Perry eliminated in 13th. Steven Chidwick out in 10th. Seth Davies busted on the bubble. Daniel Negreanu on the board at the Poker Go Cup with an eighth place finish and a sick hand against Sam Zabral. Speaking of sick hands, how about the Ace of Diamonds and the Ace of Clubs for Kerry Katz? El Jefe. This will qualify. And he's right in his wheelhouse with 10 yep. bigs. The king of stack preservation. Some short stack wizardry that we've seen quite frequently from cats. And Savro looks down at two jacks. Just getting cooled off early is Sam Savro. First it was ace king into aces. Now this. 260. He's in for the super small three bat. Klein has sixes in the big. the one all in and at risk. We'll flip over two aces. What's that on? Another <laughs> cooler no, no. spot. Did you have aces last time? No. <laughs> no. Oh, my oh, I'm due for aces. That's what's going around this one. 755 safe flop for Kerry Katz. Pretty clean flop for the aces. Nate on the turn. Sovereign needs to find one of two <laughs> jacks <laughs> to bust cats. Here's Sean Perry. <laughs> River card. Oh, it's oh the jack! Oh my! I see him. The oh, jack MJ. on the river. Unbelievable. You know all the fucking tricks, huh? That was sharp. That was, that was some black magic right there. Yeah. Cats eliminated in six for about $32,000. I think it was Sean Perry, the Who's black cat, that, that <laughs> came up on stage that, that, that the caused that. that. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> That's the one you knew was coming. Yeah. This has been the most brutal of three hands to start in the final table. For real. Yeah. I just wish I had more first hand. Friend, just like that, we're down to five. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. I, was, I had pocket sixes and then the straight, there was a straight draw out there. I got it. <laughs> I got it. I'm going to get this. Oh, and I look at the I would have gotten away from it. In the big blind? Yeah, you just limp, I limp. Was it 50 50? The good and bad about losing something. <laughs> Made some more money, but you got to pay the big blind earlier. It's going to come sooner or later anyway. It's true. It's inevitable. <laughs> Are they going to let us, like, fill out Both. the seats or no? To space up a little bit? Yeah. Same. Yeah, it would be nice to space up a little bit. Well, I can, just, I can see your card. <laughs> this way I can Unless see everybody's honest. faces. This is nice. No, I can read my phone. When I'm trying to go yeah, like sorry, that, yeah. it's much tougher. 
felt it more awkward. It was just <laughs> like. But hey, it's 100. Jack 10 of diamonds for Bill Klein in the small blind, starting the hand with a little less than 20 bigs. Savril is going to be attacking all day complete, against Klein and Zalatow and the small and big blinds. He's got himself an ideal seat at this table. Queen 7 3 rainbow. See Klein's hat, the Shea Center for Therapeutic Riding. Six. Klein has donated plenty of money, to say the least. Much of that coming in the form of poker tournament winnings. Donates you know, every dollar. Yeah, donates to charity. Even when he's inside the casinos gambling, whenever he wins there, he Off donates that as well. Unbelievable. 135. Represents our game very well. Delayed C bet from Savril. It is a delayed C bet, Jeff, and he's very really fortunate to be up against the Jack 10 suited and mm -hmm. no fight. More chips in the hands of Sam Savril. 2018 High Roller of the Year. Won the coveted purple jacket in 2019 as we take a look at his bio board presented by GPI and the Hendemob. And he has more than 40% of the chips in play, five-handed. Well, we've seen this in event one and event two, this sort of dynamic. Mm -hmm. it doesn't really tell the full story. Anything can happen. So much volatility and chaos. It keeps getting hands like these, though. Right. Then, it, then it could be quick. Could be quick. Ace ten of hearts here. I'm gonna do with the seven four off. No thanks. I think I'm seated. Salvador with more than fifteen million dollars in career live tournament earnings. But I'm trying to be so careful with the cards. Uh, when yeah, the 10K yeah. pop of an Omaha yeah, event. Yeah, I know what's it. Yeah, the USPO this year. It's really, yeah. yeah it's they're tough really to. Yeah. The other day, I mean, we it should, happened to me the same. We should, yeah, if we, we should ask, because may I move down, spread out. Is that good? Paul. Can if they can Paul. Move around a little bit? Paul? Can we they switch the seats around? Is that, you said not right now. Not right now. Okay. What, in the, after the break? Yeah, which is not not, not for two levels. Poker Go Cup presented to you by BetMGM, the king of the sportsbooks. Oh, yeah. I mean, we can always scoot down and still use the same boxes. But. I can scoot down a little bit. I, mean, yes, I, mean, but I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been to a sports book or two in your day? I've been known to wander yeah, into those dabble. establishments. You walk up to the teller, like a 12-team parlay, and he's like, oh, boy, here we go. Yes, go ahead. And you're like, this is going to win. I'm going to hit it one of these this years. This is going to win. If you bet 100 of them a year, you're bound to, to strike once. 100 of them a year. I'm sorry. <laughs> the most interesting man on the poker planet, <laughs> Steve Zelotow comes in with a little Razu. What? You've never folded in the big blind as long as I've known you. <laughs> <laughs> Three tournaments you never fold. Unlucky. 
<laughs> yeah, you must have been peeking at my hand. That's the only explanation. You found the bottom 5% of hands. Yeah. <laughs> You hear the voice Literally of tournament more. director Paul Campbell in the background. <laughs> it's event number four underway. $15,000. I had the deuce, though. Ryan. What? You had the deuce? Yeah. Do you have a good kicker like a seven or a five? No. Better. A straight draw. If you had a three, you would have called for better. sure a straight draw. Better than a, than a seven. Much better. A We're six now well for Zalatel. Yeah, come get it, baby. Sink those talons in deep. Uh oh. A ten of hearts again for Sam Saverell. In the big blind here. Cool. We'll call. That's it. 10, 8, 8. Check. 10s and 8s for Sovereign. 295 in the pot. <laughs> King of Diamonds on the turn. Isn't Daniel's hand 10, 7 <laughs> suited? Well, he well, would so it's a 10. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I preferred well, it over the A6. This king here. Look at this. 125. Not going to get it done, Sovereign. Going to be a little too sticky. The hand is too good. Desk check call. River is a nine. Six. Ace ten. Easy winner. Nice. <laughs> Into the muck whenever. You want to know why Zalatau is the most interesting? You, poker player on the planet. Why is that? Uh, purple or is it? Sorry. Probably Thank many you. reasons. Appreciate I love the guy, but go well, ahead. Yeah. Let me tell you about his mom. Okay, please. Charlotte mm -hmm. Zalatau, an author, mm -hmm. children's author, in fact. She's a Caldecott Award winner. Wow. For the story Mr. Rabbit and the Lovely, mm. illustrated by Maurice Sendek. Now, Maybe you're not familiar with any of this, Jeff, which I don't think you would be or yeah, ever right, should be. Right. But Maurice Sendek was the author and illustrator of an iconic story, Where the Wild Things Are. Oh, that I know. Yeah. There you go. Wow. The man is just full of interesting little nuggets. Could you please uh, take the phone off the table? All in. All in? All of it from Dylan Lindy. Four spades into the muck. Savaro, right about half the chips in play, so five handed. Hand. <laughs> you have good hands all the time. <laughs> That's you true, Sergi. You had East King, John Jack, East King Sweeter, one bad East, hand. East and off, one bad hand. Dylan Lindy coming off third place seven. finish in event King number nine. two. Probably three That was six. good for more than $85,000. <laughs> Originally from Idaho. Well, you have pro it. poker coach. It's the same hand I folded against you when you race, except it wasn't suited. Seven four. Suit. Oh, so you had me dead. Mm -hmm. So if I was uh, Ali, you would have doubled up. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you might have just gone all in though. Yeah. Yeah. Could you have given your cards to Ali? Next time. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you would have defended the. Four. I, I think you would have just one pre flop. Yeah, probably. 9 8 on the button for Savro. All day. Attacking, like you All mentioned. All day long. He may even be in an any two card situation. Mm. Klein and Zalatau have very vulnerable stack sizes 14 and 15 big blinds. Savarol, 3.35 million chips now. That 
Lindy and Rushak, by the way, totally recognize how handcuffed they are. Yeah. Having Savro to their immediate left. I mean, this is, you want a dream seat at a final table? You're looking at yeah. it for Sam Savro right now. <clears throat> Nobody else with 20 bigs. He can set the tone, he can run the show. That's what he's done so far. Yeah, and it's suited, it's good enough. We're gonna hit every hole, mm -hmm. raise it up. For the most part, all of his opponents are fit or fold pre-flop with that sort of stack size. It, you can defend from the big blind in C3. And, and occasionally yeah. you'll run into it. Yeah, it's gonna happen and obviously Zalatau is about to soar. With most of it. Five. Five hundred. That gets through. Steve Zalatow with the top 10 finish in the U.S. Poker Open Series. Jesus. Chris tried to just, no one gets brutalized He has won for. two World <laughs> Series of Poker Either bracelets. All right, wow. Well. <laughs> I want to go to his bar in New York yeah, City. Yeah, same. I mean, you really want to go to any bar. Yeah. But especially his. I'd like to manage it. I think yeah, I could think really that, run it. That sounds like a horrendous idea. I just got like 500 bucks for every time. You hear Sean yell Brewer from across the room. You wouldn't even have to play poker anymore. <laughs> even just a hundred bucks every time you hear Sean. Yeah. That would be pretty good. For real. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Zalatel folds the ace four on the button. <laughs> Lindy has the king eight of diamonds <laughs> in the small blind. I want the exact count, please. Rushak has king seven. 660. If you don't mind, could you please break down one? Yeah, of course. 665. This is very, very close. Five, six. 690. That is correct. 25. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> very clever. Not quite good enough. Hiding in plain sight. I was supposed to raise that hand and I decided not to. For better or worse, I left the field to you. Appreciate it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you may be wondering <laughs> the names, and I say names, plural, of Steve Zalatow's bars in New York City. Wrong, yeah. So Ready for this? Again. Please. Oh. One is that, called yeah, that, no, Nice I'm Guy there. Eddie's. Okay. I wasn't Another, to win race, that's for the sure. library. Like it. And lastly, Doc Holliday's. Oh. All of which are on Avenue A. A trio. In New York City. Let's go. I'm in. We'll stay at Steve's place. Sounds good. You and Steve there, I might stay at a hotel. No, no, no. He's got room for the two of us. I don't want to impose on you, you both, you all. Steve, he's a bright character in the poker world, and I'm so glad that we saw him at the U.S. Poker Open and back here at the Poker Go Cup. Let's take a look at what we have remaining in that Poker Go Cup. A new price point introduced. The 15K going on right now at the final table of that tomorrow. And then we shift to 225Ks, a 50K, and we wrap things up with a $100,000 buy-in main event. All of these events... Streaming live, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific time. First hour free on YouTube. Every event, no limit hold'em. Love that. We are just Love hopping it. in the Cadillac, cool. and we are cruising all across Vegas, baby. Destination, the Poker Go studio. Yes, sir. One, four. 
40. It's all part of the job. As chip leader, mm -hmm. you attack with the good, the bad, and the ugly hands. And don't have to go crazy solving sizing-wise, case in point there. Less than 3x blind versus blind. Klein just folds the jack 10. I did ask Sammy Biscuits about the shades. Yeah. It's because the bright lights affect his eyes. Mm. He has a hard time. I don't know. His sensitive eyes? Sure. Makes no. sense. Poker Go Cup brought to you by BetMGM, the king of sportsbooks. You probably have a fantastic status at BetMGM. They love when you walk in. What is that supposed to mean? No, it just means you go there frequently. Well, they, they like having you there. They didn't give me tickets to the fight, unlike yourself. <laughs> don't, I don't quite think that's how I acquired those tickets, but we can run with that. Back to work for Saverell. The queen deuce of diamonds on the button. Klein with the ace three off. And Zalatel with the king six of diamonds. Started the hand with a little less than 20 bigs. We'll defend. Nine, four, three, one diamond. Doesn't take much sizing wise here. The McQueen high and a backdoor flush draw for Saverell. It's an air ball. I wouldn't expect too many of those delayed continuation bets that we saw. He's just going to get after it right now. And size up, too. 150. More than half pot. Perhaps aware that many of Zalatau's fours and threes are just going into the muck pre. Yeah, that's probably right with the sizing. Just in case you've got a pair. I'm going to blow you off it. Saverell up to almost 3.6 million in chips. Has more than 70 bigs. Nobody else has 20. Looking for a Poker Go Cup title. You got the first one right in the box. Chad doing an incredible first resume. Year. Won two events at the Poker Masters in 2019. When you're in the purple jacket. Lindy the 6-5 offsuit. Yeah, and Lindy is sticky from the big blind. I have to imagine. Oh, he's going to let it go. Maybe just because of the other short yeah. stacks around. Our final five guaranteed $42,400. About an 11K pay jump from fifth to fourth. Other four players kind of relegated to sitting there and waiting on that pay jump. You're having fun? Give me the nuts every hand. Sorry. Yeah, and it's it's just a bit of a, a ticking time bomb. Eventually, we're going to have an all-in explosion. Sure. Hands will collide. It's inevitable. Wow, Sabo oh. discipline takes one off. <laughs> it was actually a pretty tight fold. <laughs> Surprised me a little bit. He's being honest. Yeah. We have to fold a few to maintain credibility. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, but this is. And we're here once again, blind versus blind. If you like folding, you came to the right broadcast. <laughs> Poker Hall of Famer Eric Seidel in the backdrop. 
firing event number four, the 15K. At the same table as fellow Poker Hall of Famer Daniel Negreanu and future Poker Hall of Famer David Peters. You think so, huh? Oh, yeah. Peters on the yeah, way? Yeah, for sure. Might take a while. What do you, you have to be 40 years old yeah. to make the Poker Hall of Fame? What's he, 23? <laughs> I think a little older than that. You think I've got a shot, no. Chuck? No. no. You didn't even think about it. Nope, didn't need to. Queen 10 4, two diamonds. Yeah, but what if. Nope, not no. going to not gonna happen. All right. Maybe if you won the main three years in a row, <laughs> it would be like, all right, we got to put this guy in, I guess. Three or I still. That's what it Are takes. The eyes still? Okay, so so. They're yeah. pretty bright. The hat sharp, but it, yeah. it's not uh, it's not enough. You need a longer one. <laughs> the lights are like. Rush X King High is best. Oh, Jack on at the river for Lindy. Lindy perhaps thought Jack I could be good in some realm thus far in the hand. Now you have to be quite certain of that. I would expect maybe a little taste of value. Check. Check. Rushak happy to check back King High. Not as happy to see the Jack. Lindy up to about 800K. Talked to him before play began. He said he would like to fire the remaining events, but going to see how things go. Yeah, I think he just has to win today to put himself in contention as far as the leaderboard is concerned to really consider playing the bigger buy-ins. He's currently in sixth. I think we'll see him for sure at the 15K and the 225Ks, and then the 50K and the 100K are to be determined. All right. I'll... Uh, 15K guaranteed. Yep. One of the 25Ks, maybe. Both oh. of them not happening unless he finishes top three here today. Okay. Top three is going to lock it up. Queen Are we wagering on that? Or well, no? we'll have to if he doesn't make the top three. All right. Kind of weaseled your way out of that one with the top three disclaimer that you threw in at oh. the end. I have a way with words. Yeah, that's true. All in. He's going. All of it Ready from Rush Act. Blind versus blind. Can I have a count? Savaro looks down at ace oh, eight. I really don't believe it. And I have a good hand. 765. 765. Probably not gonna fold. Is the ace eight good enough? Seven, a little six, bit more five. than fifteen yeah. bigs. Early indications would say yes. And he's going to be especially thrilled when he sees Rushak's hand. Sergi Rushak the one all in and at risk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or he's seven. <laughs> With the eight, six of diamonds. Fuck, he might have his eight. <laughs> <laughs> or he's six. I was hoping for the ace nine or seven. Mm -hmm. Rushak about a two to one underdog here. I'd rather have the snap. Flops a six, but Zavarol flops an ace. Rushak in some trouble. Can he find a six on the turn? Cannot. Can I do your trick? <laughs> do the same trick, yeah. He didn't quite go there. Hey. <laughs> Put the six in the box. It six wasn't enough. Shirt. I feel like now no, I watched the six of hearts. Can he find a six oh, on the river? He 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 push a little bit more. <laughs> Say good game to Sergi Rushak. Oh. <laughs> out in fifth, $42,400 in a second final table of the series. The Ibex Sorry. out of Spain, fourth all time. <laughs> Happy go lucky. Heck of a player. He's going to play them all, Jeff. Every event here at the Cup. 
good dude. We've enjoyed getting to know the Ibex a little bit throughout the course of this no one, series. No one has used the time extension yet. Do we need to dig this? It's taken longer. Well, Brent, make it two thirds of the chips <laughs> in play for Sam yeah. Sabro forehand. <laughs> make a decision. Uh, the rich get way richer. Next, the closest stack size, the Eagle, Steve Zalatow, yeah, only has 16 big blinds. First. Dylan Lindy with 15 bigs, and Bill Klein, about 11 bigs. My goodness. Our final four guaranteed $53,000, about a 22K pay jump from fourth to third. Final four also assured of 53 points in the race for the Poker Go Cup. Race 100. Lindy opening off a, a questionable stack size, 15 bigs. I think he knows he gets a lot of folds out of Bill Klein in the big, considering how short he is. He just needs to try and get one past the oh-so-sly Sam Soverell. and He's up to it right now. He can tell that Lindy's could be full of it. And recognizes that he can certainly pounce in this situation. <laughs> Uses a time extension, granting him an additional 30 seconds to act no, first this one. this is good because now I can get the big blind when it goes up. That's a, ta that's a tactical maneuver. Well done, sir. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's I not a big jump. It just goes to 3060, I guess. Ten seconds. Look at this, Jeff. It just yeah, recognizes just exactly what we just talked about. Mm. He's got a three bet the 9-7 mm. off. He knows Lindy is just so wide. And a bit handcuffed in this spot. The sheriff. Considering the other stacks of the table. Nothing he can do. Nothing Lindy can do in that spot. No, it's, uh, you know, you, you might be better off. I don't even think it could be considered spewy. But you might be better off just open Ooh, shoving. Made it. Oh, I should follow him. <laughs> no, yeah, uh, a little bit high no, variance. I know Klein's got <laughs> fewer chips, but my goodness. Well, you got to double up if you're going to win this thing. What about limping for you if you're Lindy? Do you like that at all in you that could kind limp, of 15 to 20 base? I think Sabro still punishes yeah, a limp for sure. and open. You know, he, he just sees it. He knows yeah. what's happening. I might as well fold <laughs> Sam Sabro putting on a clinic. Race 100. Opens button with the 7-4 off. To your point, Brent, probably any two. It is any two territory. Yep. Uh-oh. And occasionally, like you said, he is going to run into it. A little caca from the eagle. Like he does here. Two tens for Stevie Z. Let him fly. All in. Owen. Now he's going to look at his cards. <laughs> Pension. Shows the tens. Okay. Sam Saverell, the winner of the Poker Masters in 2019. Let us take you back to when he won the Purple Jacket. <laughs> Is it there? No. The Eight of Diamonds on the river, and Sam Saverell comes back from a big chip deficit to become your event seven twenty-five thousand dollar PLO champion. No. Oh yeah. He does it. And Sam Sovereil is your 50K no limit hold'em event 10 champion. Congrats, man. Uh, we did it. <laughs> <Hopefully>. <laughs> There it was for Savarol. Looks good in that purple jacket. It really does. Yeah. He was really fired up to win those events, too. Yeah, was. <laughs> Blinds going up, as you see, on our PokerGo studio wall. 30K, 60K with a 60K big blind ante. 108 bigs in play. Savarol has 75 of them. This might be a little wide if he opens the seven <laughs> deuce under the gun. Can you put me on the list for the next seat change? <laughs> <laughs> Good question by Steve. 
have to clear that one with Paul Campbell. Good news for you. Oh, I like that news. Less. <laughs> ah, it's fine. Man. I had you. I had you. Two of the nicest <laughs> guys right next to each other, and Steve Zolotow and Dylan Lindy. Under. Truly are. Lindy might be one of the most pleasant people yeah. uh, I've ever been around. I, I've played poker against him online and live for a number of years. Which was not good for your financial accounts. Well, that's what led me to the broadcaster's booth. <laughs> And Zalatau just really have gotten to know over the last three or four years from various programs on Poker Go and then, of course, our cash games and mm -hmm. tournaments. Blind versus blind against the chip leader. King seven off decision time. Klein awfully short. Going to be in the big blind the next hand. Do we just stuff it here with the king seven? I hope to get one through. All in. There it All is. In. Like 700? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I can't call Shout it a jack nine suited. 12 bigs. You want to, you just can't. Yeah, it, is <laughs> it is pretty. It is pretty. Probably just no reason to, right? You can just go back, right back to running the show right. if you fling this into the mud. Yeah. 690, so 720. Unless you're in a rush. <laughs> he wants, to, wants a look, wants a peek. Good hand. How good? It's an all-in hand. <laughs> It's better than Sergey's hand. How much better? Lindy <laughs> coming off of the third place finish. Did it contain a jack? It did not. You were lying. Did it have a card worse? A nine? <laughs> you had a nine? Oh, okay. No. Damn, bad fold. <laughs> Lindy's fifth Poker Go Tour cash. Sam Soverell's 13th. Bill Klein's fourth. And Steve Zolotow's fifth. What a sight here Ooh. for Lindy. Peaks down at two tens on the button. Klein with about eight bigs in the big blind. It's 120 total. Similar dynamic that we mm -hmm. saw when Lindy had Queen 10 off. Perhaps targeting Bill Klein in the big blind in that vulnerable stack. If Savril thinks he's going to do it two times in a row, does he try and punish? He, he, let's see. Ten seconds. Wow, oh finds boy. the fold. Yeah. Maybe thinking, well, that's weird. Back to back, you really yeah. gonna try it again when under my watch? When you know that I can, yeah, I can punish. Queen eight for Klein. Six bigs behind. Ten seconds. Time bank used, granting Klein an additional 30 seconds to act. Ten seconds. He was genuinely considering taking a flop with mm -hmm. the Queen 8. Just going to live to see another day, move on. Take the small blind, Let's see what develops over the next couple of hands. He has the button next. It's probably close, Jeff. You, you can fold there some of the time. Consider calling and gambling. You are the ultimate short stack with five bigs. But 
Lucky Lindy on a bit of a heater. It's down at Ace Queen. Just chooses to rip it. First one was a good one. Ooh, squeeze Second the king first for a good question. sweat. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like it. Dylan Lindy starting to chip up a bit. Yeah, and a bit of a different strategy there. Ace Queen yeah. decides to just move it in pre. A hand prior with pocket tens. I believe Jeff. He decided to simply raise back. with those two tens <laughs> in hopes that he could induce <laughs> a sovereign oh, yeah. light three bet to Absolutely. get max value. So he, he he's balanced. He changed it up with the ace queen a moment ago. The ace is the only hand you played so far, or did you play? No, I actually made a call with uh, oh. another hand. Ace nine. You min raise and I called. Ace nine? <laughs> Jack ten. Really? <laughs> I had the best hand. I know you did. <laughs> why, why do you think I stopped? When... You made no pair, right? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even come close. Right. No, no draw, no, <laughs> nothing. I was just waiting for you to bet so I could fold it. One total. Fours for Lindy and the big blind. Starting the hand with 19 bigs. Rips it. I believe this is going to be five in a row for Dylan Lindy. That's one way to chip up, Jeff. Yeah, now over 20 bigs. Card rushes. They come and they go. You ever been in Card Player magazine, Jeff? Any articles or anything? Maybe on their website. Bit of, you know, a couple feature write-ups. Don't mean to brag. You were the author or you were mentioned? <laughs> no, no, not mentioned. Okay. You know me. I can't write. <laughs> oh, no, you're a well, fine you writer. Some solid I don't food, know about that. <laughs> well, that's not going to happen. Many articles about you yeah, back in your heyday of some solid oh. 2002 or so. It's pretty much... A year straight. I was yeah. telling your Trump golf story to a couple of friends. <laughs> Everybody loved it. Well, if you want to share, Steve. Oh. Lindy limps in with a pretty one, the Queen Jack of Diamonds. Yeah, trying to tame the beast that is Sovereign. Give himself a chance to not get blown off. A Queen Jack suited. Absolutely wants to take a flop with this hand. Sovereign going to make him pay a little bit. Yeah, doing his job. One seven total. Kick it up. Let's shoot it. Nice price still for Lindy. Yeah. Now, there is a world in which Queen Jack suited could be a, a limp all-in jam. Uh, he may just want to peel and C3 out of position with this sort of holding. Sabro can have a lot worse queens or jacks just to be isoing. We know he can have complete dust. He has complete dust. Why not give yourself a chance to, to be in a dominating situation? 997 with two diamonds. Lindy with overs and the flush draw. Sabro flops the gutter.
It's decision time now for Lindy. We've got the two overs in the flush draw. Nearly 500,000 in the middle. Can Sam have nine, uh, some sort of nine here? Absolutely. He knows he'd be isolating and, and putting on pressure with any sort of holding. But I still think it's good enough, obviously. He's just going to take the price. If you're going to lay me that kind of price, I'm just going to – I'm going to peel. I'm going to see the turn. That turn is a 10. Lindy adds an open-ended straight draw to his flush draw. Check. Two is overs. Yeah, and an eight, a disaster card for Sabral. Check. Goes check, check. River brings another seven. All of the draws miss. It's just queen high for Lindy. And a very annoying run out for Lindy considering this river card. Ten seconds. Check. Does Savro go for it here? The only shot he has to win is to bet Six high. He would play a seven just like this. Mm. He's going to shut it down. And wow. he's not going to be thrilled to see queen high. See that the door was open. 